encourage you to spend lots and lots of time just getting the wave of vote, reading the data, and trying to figure out what people intended to do. Not what they did, because that's the mistake that most Wii games make, is um, they actually uh, do exactly what the data of the device is telling them, the accelerometers and everything else, and that tends to be pretty squirrely and bouncy. You can dampen it, but it never quite feels right. So what we did, um, we discovered early on that what they did is not necessarily what they intended to. And we doubled down on figuring out what the throw mechanic was and how much it differed from player to player, and from position to position. It turns out if you're standing up and you're doing this with a throw, and then you sit down and do this, those are really different things. But in the context of a cane session, they actually might mean the same thing. And so we had to figure that out. It's actually a big problem. And what that little video playing in the background there is actually the curve plotter that shows the accelerometers maxing out at their 3Gs or so. Uh, and you can see as long as I keep moving the Wiimote not too radically, the thing kind of looks like a nice like spline shape. But the minute I jerk it around really dramatically, it goes right outside that box and sends a bunch of random data that can really confuse your program. And so you have to plot out what that curve did at the, at, in that outside space and really kind of guess a lot. Um, it's very, very difficult. And I'm, I'm really happy about how it ended up in the box. We also went through dozens of potential camera schemes of months and months of development to try to come up with something that would work and would be very intuitive. And I personally wanted to make sure the game would be playable with one Wii remote. Um, no nunchuck necessary. Now, if you have one and you plug it in, it works the way it should. You plug it in and out at your will. But because the game has a lot of throwing, in fact, we have three kind of basic things you do with boom blocks. You throw, you grab things and move them around, or you blast things by pointing and pulling the trigger. Uh, the last one is pretty obvious, people play Duck Hunt, you know how that works, but the other two are pretty tricky, um, and I'll get into the pulling and stuff too in a, in a little while. So it's clear to us that done well, the pulling, throwing, and pushing would give us hundreds and hundreds of potential game activities. Um, and in fact, we did a lot of different things. Um, so let me just, uh, we got to show you all these. Yeah, oh, actually, one last comment. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the, the Wii Remote, although a great device, is not a natural device. Um, it actually has accelerometers that give you information in three dimensions, basically, but you really need six degrees to, to have an idea of where it is in space. So it becomes really, really problematic because um, the easiest way I can explain it is if you're holding it out like this, it tells you the gravity is straight down. But if you just pull your hand down like that, suddenly gravity's gone for a little while. And you don't really know exactly what happened unless you look at the data over time. Very, very complicated stuff to try to figure out. It seems really easy at first until you get into it. I thought it was easy, not, not so much. Um, okay. So here's some video, and I'm going to actually talk over this one.